So the Colombian wheat, I mean, I got this farm, I'm growing, you know, strange hybrids that I've gotten from, actually, we got some from your store, Harborside in Oakland. Very good. You had some beautiful clones there that we purchased. And I think we got our cherry pie from you guys. That would make sense. And which pie is pie uh, from sense. Dark uh, Dark Heart. Dark Heart through you uh, to us. And now our cherry pie is known as the marriage counselor because it's the sweetest, nicest pie. It makes people, <laughs> couples get along. Uh, but then I got this Captain Jack stream, which is a land stream from Afghanistan. And what I wanted to come down here for was to find some of that original Colombian seeds in order to bring it up onto the farm mm -hmm. and have another unique strain because most strains right now are just it's just grass so what is the strain i want well the, there there's there are three strains that are kind of famous okay, right? three right famous that. land race strains okay uh chris you got this right? two of which i had personal experience with and mm -hmm. one of which is is new to me right the one is Santa Marta Gold. Yes, right? that's so the one we're going to get. That's the one I want to get. I want to get that one. So the Santa Marta Gold, when I saw it, was really, really gold, super gold. It had these little tiny black seeds. You, it was so resinous, right, that you, you could put your finger on a bud and lift it up and you could squeeze the seeds out and, and the bud would remain basically totally intact. Wow. Right? And it smelled smelled like a pine forest. Oh, really? It's just incredible. So, Great terps, right? Just natural An amazing terpenes. terpene profile, right? So... Now, wait a minute. I want to interrupt you because Captain Jack told me that there was a gimmick to the gold. Well, he, he said that what they would do is that would, that at the stem, they would cut a little bit around the stem to shut off some of the nutrients going through, and that would change that bud into gold. So my, 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 what I suspect but do not know is that there's something that has to do with the curing process that removes the chlorophyll before the weed starts getting dry. Exactly how that's done, we still need to find well, out. Right? Find out. Because out. here's the thing. Um, well, before I tell you that, let me tell you about the, the, other, the other two, right? Okay. So there's, the, so there's Santa a, a de Santa Marta, okay? Santa Marta Gold. Then there's Punta Roja. Okay, or, or red tip, right? Now, when I saw the Punta Roja in my day, it was way more than Punta. It was like the whole bale of weed was this deep red color. There was no mistaking. It didn't go, oh, it's brown and kind of. No, 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 it was, no, it was clear. clear. This is red <laughs> weed, okay? This is red <laughs> weed, right? Um, uh, and, uh, and it had this totally different terpene uh, profile, right? It was, it was a lot rounder and, and earthier, not quite as spicy and piney as the gold was. It was way more relaxing, right? So the gold gave you this soaring cerebral high. Okay. The red, it was more of a just body. put you right back. It was the perfect thing to sit down and, and So in, in our terms today, one would be I know these these terms. Don't no, no, no! Don't even you. say those I know. words. All right, don't all right. Even say so those one words. was one was got you high and one got you stoned. Let's say that. Let's one say that one had a more cerebral effect and one had, had a more calming effect. Okay. okay, okay. I think is the best way to describe that. And then there's mango biche. Mango ah. biche. I've heard about. And maybe I've seen it when I was a kid, but I, I don't know whether it's the real mango biche that they talk about here. Right, right, right. So I right. still need to see the real mango biche. So are biche. you on that search? I'm totally on the search. Here's what's complicated, okay? In Colombia, like the rest of the world, there's been this like huge influx of genetics from other places. Right. From California, from Holland, from all over the place. <coughs> right, right. And, and they are hybridized yes. genetics that are designed to grow plants that make growers a lot of money. Yes, okay? yes. It's like, so, a, it's like a organic GMO. You know, I mean, it's not really, that bad, but yeah, it's, but it's, it's a step in to, that direction. Okay? They're trying to beef up the yields. and They're trying to do what everybody does, yeah. which is provide for their families. Totally yes. understandable, right? right? The problem is that, that in, in the process of switching from the land race strains to these new hybrids, right, a lot of the land race strains 
are either lost or almost no, lost. I don't know how I lost they are. I want to find that one. I want to find the. I don't want it to be lost. I want to find that strain. Are you going to look for it? Well, here's the thing. There's there's lots of seeds that people can bring us and say that they are this or say that right. they are that. And we don't okay? know. The only way that you know is if somebody puts that gold weed in your hand and you roll it up and you smoke it and you go, that I remember. I remember. That's right? Right? So, so that's the trick. So here's what complicates it a little bit further. Colombia is a country of many different regions and different things happen in different right. regions. Right. Okay? There are regions like around Bogota where there's this new legal cannabis industry that's happening where there's these big greenhouses and there's capital coming in from the Canadian public markets. Right. The government approves of it. They're going to have this huge export market, right? But then there's whole other areas of the country that are, in some cases, ruled by armed groups who are still in a state of semi-conflict with the government. That's right. all coming to an end now, and cannabis is helping to end that. But the, nice. but the weed that we want, the weed that we want, is deep in that territory. It's up in the mountains. We're going, Chris. <laughs> I told you it was going to be difficult. This is the way this so we're talking M19, we're talking FARC, we're talking about the groups who have been in armed conflict with the government until very recently. We're talking about indigenous groups that have maintained their independence from the government since the Spanish came here. These are, these are communities that have been oppressed and marginalized, right? right? And, um, and they are very particular about who they welcome as visitors. Right, well... And I don't think this hat's going to get me in. Well, <laughs> I think shirt might be a little bit more shirt. of a problem. I like right? this shirt. My wife got me this shirt. I think it's pretty. It looks like a shirt your wife got. You, uh, <laughs> you know what Danny Atkrick calls uh -huh. it? He, he calls it uh, chick wear. Okay. And I go, you mean chic? Uh-huh. And he goes, no, chick. Uh, a chick bought you that. You I don't go. see you there walking you in the store, Jim, buying this shirt. There you go. Chick wear. <laughs> so... So if we go into those areas before yes. we go, we're going to go to a store where regular Colombians buy their clothes. And we're going to buy regular Colombian clothes and we're going to put those clothes on because we don't want to be the pink shirt sticking out of the caravan as it's snaking up the mountain. I, I in the don't have a camera zone. around my neck, <laughs> all right? I'm not chewing a no. churro. I'm a <laughs> yeah. But this is real shit, man, yeah, okay? Know. These are people that have been in armed conflict. Right. Um, they, one, of the, one of the stories that I have heard, and I know is true, is that there was a young lady who was running a cannabis tour guide service who went into some of these areas, not recently. <clears throat> there was a young lady uh, from the cannabis community here uh, who was working developing a tourism service to take people and show them these traditional growing areas and something did not go right with her visit uh, she ended up being kidnapped and killed oh, oh no, no, no 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 Chris no. Chris they're gonna go right for you <laughs> they're gonna go get the tall one first Gee, we're gonna go back empty handed well, you can't. I got grandkids. I need to go buy some gifts for my grandkids. Any idea where they have some good stores? Because the seed thing. What up, uh, Chris? With the with the tchotchkes for the grandchildren? We, Steve. No is, tip, Steve. Forget the seeds. Is, forget forget the seeds. But this is like the holy grail. This is a holy mission, man. We may be finding and discovering the unique phenotype of a very special strain that will turn out to be the only phenotype of cannabis on the whole planet that cures That's some really important disease. Just like we're concerned about the Amazon being cut yeah. down because we don't want to lose the biodiversity, the medical treasures that are there that we haven't discovered yet. Same thing here, yeah. right? This, this is a holy mission. So if you go, I mean, you're here to speak at the science uh, conference, correct? Mm -hmm. I came to Columbia initially because I was invited to speak at a couple of conferences, but what I found is really that Colombia has this incredibly rich cannabis culture and this country, this country is poised to claim its destiny as like one of the most important cannabis countries in the whole world. Yeah, I heard that, 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 that you know, by 2023 they'll have more 
marijuana, they'll ship 80% of the marijuana across the, the world. That's what they call it. Well, you could visit India and Canada and a bunch of other countries and yeah. look at pictures and spreadsheets and yeah, that's yeah, how you yeah, the same yeah, thing, same okay? Thing, yeah. but, um, but what we do know is that Colombia has been a large-scale cannabis producer for decades and decades and decades. And, and the fact that cannabis was illegal for that time was one of the things, one of the factors that led to this prolonged warfare and violence that's happened yes, in the yes, country, right? Yes. And now, legalization offers the opportunity to change that. So if you go out and find it, will you give me some? Of course, I would share anything that I have with you, man. Of course I would go out and do it. There. I'm gonna give you fifty dollars. No, 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 no! You can't give me money. I said it's a holy mission. It's a mission of the heart and a mission of love. Well, you might want to get some trinkets for your, your grandkids or you, you, maybe a beer. You can, you can, you can give me a donation for the children of the villages that I'll be going through right, to make go. sure that they can buy some books and go to school. Right, you How take about that fifty dollars. How's that? Well, if you're right. gonna donate, of course. Then here's more. All right. Very good. Here's a lot more. Okay, all right. Bravo. All right. This is turning into a wonderful mission now. You got another one? <laughs> yeah, I got another one here. I got another one. There's a 20. All right, <laughs> all right. Okay, all right. All right, but yeah. now I'm going to call you. You got your phone, right? I've got my phone, okay, I'm gonna but it's check not going to work in the mountains. Well, maybe you can get a, a text or something, can't you? Can you give me a satellite phone? I could get you a satellite phone. Get me a satellite phone. I'll get you a satellite phone. <laughs> Put that on the list. I'll put that on the list. We'll do it. All right. Well, I'm going to check in with you. Make check sure in with me. I will let you know how the search is going. Okay. So you, you'll 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 uh, because that Santa the Santa Morrow Gold seems a little more we're able to reach right. The Hello, Lord de Santa Martha. Yeah. No, man. When you go up into La Sierra, right. you're going into the place where government control has never reached. Okay. So that's okay. a dangerous spot to go. It's not dangerous for me. It's comfortable territory for me. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, Remember, the government's been chasing me for 15 oh, years. Oh, yeah, too. you're used to it. Chris, you do it. You'll do it. Yeah, right. 